This is a Full and Bloom news brief. More info at fullandbloom.com. Today, Guitar World reposted one of their old school articles where Ingve Malmsteen critiques 14 tracks from his guitar playing peers. The article, originally featured in their August 1994 issue, involved Malmsteen listening to a selection of unidentified tracks by unnamed guitarists and giving his take on their playing. On Joe Satriani's song, The Mighty Turtlehead, Ingve said, I like the groovy Hendrix style intro. Sounds like a strat, but the soloing going over the song is very bad. It's been out of shape and out of tune. It's very basic bullshit pentatonic runs. The choice of notes in the solo is completely overdone. That stuff has been done for 30 years. I'm sick and tired of that bending bullshit. This is the most run-of-the-mill pentatonic playing I ever heard. After Guitar World tells him that it's Joe Satriani, Ingve said, You're kidding. Was he high? He's playing out of tune and the most boring runs. What I've heard from Satriani before was really good, but not this. After the backwards solo, Joe does some nice stuff with out of phase pickups, which I like, but the actual solo, I could never dream it was Joe, out of tune and terrible. On Metallica's Master of Puppets from Live Shit, Binge and Purge, that's Metallica, I love it. This is maybe the second time I've heard this song, and the first time I've heard the live version. My old drummer and keyboardist like Metallica a lot, and they played me this song around the time I was recording Odyssey. I liked it then, and like it now. Of all the bands that play this type of music, Metallica's the best. James sings better than all the other vocalists, and Lars is a great drummer. I feel some sort of connection with them. I think the band heard some of my early demos, which sounded something like this. I'm not saying I influenced them, but maybe I did. Overall, the band has a great sound, but I think the lead guitar player is not very good. He can play fast and is pretty good at it, but his choice of notes and sense of pitch are very bad. I don't know that he plays with musicality or plays in tune. Rather than lifting the song, his solo seems to be an anti-climax. On Pantera's song, I'm Broken, I don't know who this is, but I like the cool guitar riff. I also like the groove over the second chorus, but I don't like the buzzsaw guitars. I'd much prefer a distorted guitar that doesn't really sound distorted if you don't play more than two notes. As far as the singing goes, I couldn't find enough words to describe my disgust. It's really not singing. It sounds like somebody is either shoving something up the vocalist's ass or something is coming out of his ass and mouth at the same time. It's a stupid excuse for someone who stands in front of a mic stand. When asked about his thoughts on the guitar solo, Ingve said, A sad reason for being a guitarist in the 90s. It started off sounding like Chuck Berry. Then there was some terrible, terrible bending going on. Very distasteful. That was one of the worst solos I've heard. But the riffing at the beginning and end of the song is very good. Ingve goes on to rate songs by Primus, Pearl Jam, Dream Theater, Tom Petty, The Almond Brothers, Death, Jeff Beck, Dinosaur Jr., Steve Vai, Gary Moore, and The Cure, an absolutely fantastic feature from Guitar World. You can read more highlights and access the original article at fullandbloom.com. Click the link below. Full and Bloom.